Okay, today's content includes a flashback Mauro Icardi. It looks like a pretty good card. Has obviously received significant boost in the pace department and dribbling department as well. So in theory, could be a good card. Let's find out if it is. If you need some coins to improve your ultimate team, the cheapest place to get them is at IG Vault, and there is a link in the description. And if you use the code Kieran at checkout, you'll get yourself an even bigger discount off your order. Three SBCs to complete then, 83, 84, and an 86. Let's get this done. So for the League Finesse Squad, we will submit this a bunch of untradeables as per usual, so uh, not costing us too much for that one. For squad number two, a full La Liga plus a Mertens just to get the rating up. And then to end, we have a Serie A team. Everything now submitted, we have an Icardi coming into the club. Nice looking card too, aside from that passing. So this is the team he is going to play in. Pretty much my foot champs team, minus a few changes. I normally have um, Benzema, Alessandrini and Morales in these three positions, but this is what we're going to work with. Anyway, this card, four star, four star, so he has had a boost versus the non in form. Couple of traits, but none of them too crazy for us. Um, in terms of in-game stats, obviously the pace is nice. The shooting actually looks really really good inside the box elite finishing composure and attack positioning love to see that in regards to his passing look you've got a card which in theory should be very very good in the short passing game but in the like through balls area he's just not going to be that great so yeah he might be okay for some hold up play but you know not all of it we'll see how it you know turns out in game uh dribbling this will be something that probably makes or breaks this card um will he feel good on the ball in game i guess time will tell uh, very good reactions though and uh, good ball control but the agility is lacking a little bit and with him having like a body type which is a bit questionable we'll just have to see how it plays out in game it's just something that we can't really talk about too much yet we'll just have to see how we get on in matches finally the physicals they look good for most part good jumping strength and head and accuracy and the aggression of 70 isn't bad for a chem style, whoa by the way 94 rated striker in game already that's pretty mad with a basic and 96 wow Okay, I'm, I'm hoping for good things. Um, but for a chem style, you've got to go with engine, surely. Get that pace boost, bring his passing up to be a bit more usable, and also make his dribbling look much more appealing as well. But I will add, I don't think something like finisher is terrible. I know the shooting ones are a bit pointless, but that plus 10 in agility might actually be quite nice. Could maybe argue artist wouldn't be a bad one for him also. So you do have options, but I do feel like most people are going to go with engine. Okay then, on debut, we face this. It's a it's a good team. It's a standard Premier League team, but uh, hopefully we can do the job against it. Oh, wow. Into the path of Icardi. First touch, first chance, and it's a good save from Lloris. We'll go short from the corner. Try and find our way inside the box, which we do. Angle is tight, and it's another corner. Lloris finds Icardi, who's nice pass into Shevchenko. Puts us into a bit of space. Into Icardi, can he get round... Rudiger here found himself in a lot of space and it's a good chance it's a well taken goal as well. He's actually done really well to sort his feet out before slamming the ball in the back of the net. There's a chance as Fakir gets the ball, floats it into the box. Icardi with the chance, the aerial chance and he takes it. Chance from distance, oh he'll take it. Finesse shot trait, not needed, great ping into the back of the net. Found him in a bit of space on the edge of the box and we have our lead back. Chance from distance, oh he's gone for it again. Just like that. We love the time finesse this year, and that is a beautiful goal. Just like that, we double up our lead. Defensive work from the Argentinian. There's no one forward, so we're just going to run. Let's test out the pace, shall we? We're up against Walker here, who's going to come across, and yeah, we're just going to just going to nab the ball off us. It was a stupid idea to try and race someone like Kyle Walker because he's so much quicker than his stats suggest. But got to test these things out just to you know see what we're working with. Can we get one more before the break? We've gone for the long ball in it to Abamyang. Oh, it's ended up not being a bad ball, but. Just couldn't take it under control. Well, pretty good. First 45 in the end. Uh, we obviously took a lead, then we were behind. But now we are back comfortably, and I think we can see this game out as well. Plenty of goals, which is great. Cardi links up with Claude Maurice. First time finesse, and he scores. Just like that. What, 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 what a finisher. He scored some great goals in this game. Cardi, nice pass there. Finding Claude Maurice in space. Tries to return the ball. Oh, and we almost score off it. That would have been a nice move. Go on then, Akadi. Use that pace. Got past Kieran Tierney. Rudiger coming across. Keepers off his line. We go for the dink very, very late, and we went too late. But that's my fault, not the players. Nice. Done really well to keep the ball there, to be fair to him. 
And off the back of that, we've scored a really nice team goal. Love to see it. And off the back of that goal, we've got a rage quit. Really, really good attacking performance in that game. In the next game, we face this. Plenty of icons, well, a couple of icons on at display. Current icons anyway, some future icons in that team as well. It's done so well to come over the ball. Get us a shot away as well, but this time, we overdo the finesse. Bamiyang finds a cardi. Oh, nice finesse. 1-1. One, one. Oh, I was going to say good link up. That's a good for uh, intercept there from Varane. Nice, good bit of play, chance for Icardi and he does not miss those kind of opportunities. Left foot, right foot, does not matter, he slams it home to make it 2-2. Nice from Icardi, finds Claude Maurice in a bunch of space, now we have an opportunity, maybe take the lead in this one. Can we find a Bamyank the back stick? Yes we can, but we don't convert the chance. And there's half time, 2-2 at the break, much more competitive game this one. Oh, Icardi. With the intercept and then the finesse shot. Oh. Cardi sees the run of Aubameyang. And you know what? Not a bad ball at all for Aubameyang. Sadly, we couldn't make the most of it, but great ball. Well, unfortunately, we lost this game 3-2 in extra time, which absolutely sucks. Okay, let's do this. Game's done. What did we make of Icardi? He ended with a record of three games, seven goals and no direct assists. But as we saw in the footage, he was involved in the build-up to some goals and some attacks in general. So that was quite nice. I'm going to tell you straight away, it's a good item. But I'll also say straight away, it does feel like it's going to be one of them cards that some people are going to absolutely love. But some people might not be as keen on. He's not, you know, like a complete forward but he's still a very, very good striker depending on your playstyle. He's an out-and-out -out finisher, and he will 100% score you goals if you're willing to put the work in around him. But as I say, he's not the most complete player, so he's not going to create you know, too many chances just by himself. That's not to say that he can't do it, but I just don't think he'll do it for everyone. But um, yeah, good card. I like him, and I will definitely use him again. Anyway, let's break down the areas of this card. We'll start off with the pace. It's pretty much what it says it is. Nothing too crazy, nothing too slow, but, you know, quick enough, which is nice. Then we come on to the shooting, which is, you know, the, the best area of this card. He is a finisher, like I've said numerous times. He will 100% score you goals if you create chances for him. And what surprised me the most was... He wasn't just a threat inside the box like the stats suggest, but outside the box, he was also scoring plenty of goals for me. And once again, you'll have seen that in the footage. I do wish he had like a high attacking worker rate though, just to push him up forward a bit more because there was some times where I would attack and this guy wasn't going forward unless I manually brought him forward. But um, other than that, like he does get into some good areas when your you know full team is up in attack. So that is obviously really, really nice. And when you've got a card like this that gets into good areas, goals are going to be scored. Now let's discuss that passing because honestly, I disagree with a lot of what the in-game stats say. Um, through balls on the floor were horrific, however, through balls in the air were pretty good. And you saw that once again in the clips with this guy pinging over through balls for Aubameyang. And uh, that happened quite a lot, so I was pleased with that. Short passing game was alright, but not quite as good as I thought the short passing stat does suggest. So um, yeah, a bit of hit and miss with the passing, it just wasn't what I expected it to be. Dribbling now, what did I make of that? He was alright on the ball, to be fair. Look, I don't think he's going to go on like too many amazing runs, but he's capable of taking a man on, which is something that you can't really say for other Icardi items. And I really liked his footwork and just like his general ball control. That felt quite good. And in tight scenarios, didn't feel too bad either. So pleasantly surprised with the dribbling. Is he, you know, an out-and-out -out dribbler? No. But the card can dribble to a decent extent. This is where I think some people are going to really like the card and some people uh, will absolutely hate it. The people who can get to grips with his dribbling, I think will like this card. But those who can't, I think, you know, will really, really dislike the item. Finally, physically, what did we make of the card? Um, aerial ability, very, very good. Certainly a player you can whip a ball into. I liked his strength as well. Just a shame about the stamina though because towards the latter stages of games, he can be quite tired if you've been running with him quite a bit. But um, overall verdict is, it's a thumbs up from me. I like the card and I think it is a very, very high level goal scorer. What are we saying in comparison to other league owner strikers? Um, not better than Mbappe. That'll come as a shock to no one. He's just too OP this year. Um, is he better than a Ben Yedder? I think that's probably one of the uh, more telling uh, comparisons. Like He's better than this little border and all that stuff. Um, but Ben Yedder, like, he's a better finisher than Ben Yedder. 
Um, I, he's not better on the ball than Ben Yedder, so yeah, I kind of guess it depends what you want. If you want more of a dribbler, I would probably go with someone like a Ben Yedder, but, um, or, or someone like a Jonathan David, he also feels a bit better on the ball, but if you want, you know, a better finisher, you go with Icardi. And with all that in mind, like, when you take into consideration, like, the prices of all this card, this Icardi coming in at, what, what is it, like, 220k, 200k right here on PlayStation, um, well, the prices keep changing, so let's just say 230k. I don't think it's a badly priced card at all. If you're on the league on tech team and you need a striker partner for Icardi, uh, Mbappe, sorry, then, you know, you definitely could do worse. It's a good finisher item, but uh, wouldn't be replacing an Mbappe for me. But I like the card. I enjoyed using it. And it's got some really, really nice goals for me. So I'm coming away pretty happy with it. But uh, as I say, I don't think it's a card for everyone. But I do feel that those who come to grips with it, who need a finisher, you'll uh, certainly enjoy the amount of goals that this guy will score for you. Anyway, that's my review on the flashback Icardi. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, drop a like rating on it. Comments down below. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.